photo enthusiast welcome to cybroses in today's video we will discuss about how to create an action in odoo 18 so in previous video we have already talked about how to create an action and what are the different types of actions available in odoo so let's summarize what is an action in odoo an action is a mechanism that defines how the system responds when a user interacts with menu buttons or other ui element Action determines what happens when a user clicks on something such as opening a form, triggers a report or executing a custom code. So in this case, you can see that we want to open a custom module. So upon clicking on the college ERP, we just need to navigate into that module. But right now we cannot find the college ERP in the menus list. This is because we haven't linked the action to our menu or we haven't created an action for the college ERP. Now to create the action, let's move on to the PyCharm and we just need to create an XML code that is used in Odoo. So let's move on to the PyCharm. So from here, you can see the custom uh, add-ons. As you just unfold this here, you can find the college ERP. Now we know the XML file will be under the views uh, and we just need to create the XML file for the action. So I'll be naming it as college student as my file name so you can just choose the views over here click on right button of your mouse and move on to the menu and choose new where you can choose files over here and i would like to give the name of my file as college student dot xml upon clicking on enter the file will be created and we know this xml code is used in odoo so here we just need to provide the version of XML. So we are just going to use a version 1.0 with the encoding as UTF-8. And as we are just using Odoo, we also just need to define the Odoo tag. So as you just open the Odoo tag, you can see that you will be also getting a closing tag for this. Now we just need to create the uh, action over here. So in order to create the action before that let me give the comment over here this is the window action window action now to define the action first we have to open the record tag so let me open the record tag over here record id equal to now open the double quotes and let's see, we are just pro, uh, going to give the ID over here for the record. So let's say action, then the module name. So the module name is college ERP. And afterwards, we just need to provide the action. To provide the action, use the attribute model over here. And we know there are different types of actions like the client action, report action, then server action, window action. In this case, we are discussing about the window action. So we need to define the window action. So window action is ir dot actions dot act underscore window. So this is a way to provide the window action. So if you have any doubt regarding the uh, action you can simply search for IR actions over here so use Control shift f this would allow you to search uh, within the uh, record of the add-ons okay so here you can see that uh, we can find the model that is IR server action so actually we want window action so let's see here it's given like uh, IR actions act window so as you would just drag down here, you would be able to find the result over here. So if you want to get it more accurately, you can uh, just search like model IR action. So let's search again, control shift F and let's see that uh, here it's given. And you can just make a cross stick with the action that you have provided over here. So whenever you provide the action, always give the correct spelling. So if uh, there exists any spelling mistake, you won't be getting the result. It might cause error. Now what we have to do is we just need to set the field name. Okay. 
so the field name um so we just need to define this it in the record set so i'll be using the field name and we are just going to give the action for the name college erp so upon clicking on college erp we just need to navigate into the module right so let's provide the name over here and close the tag and for college erp we just need to do the action so upon clicking on the menu college erp we just need to navigate right so i'll be providing uh, it over here and afterwards we have to provide the other field over here to which model we just need to do the action or perform the action so we want to perform the action for uh, uh, the model college student so again i'll be providing the name over here field name equal to res model so here in this case we are just going to define the model onto which we want to apply the action so for the model college student i just want to apply the action so here if you have any doubt regarding the model you can simply go to the models over here and let's cross check what is the model that you have created over here okay so in this case we have given the model as a college student so the same model must be used over here now the next field that we gonna uh, give is the view mode so as you just move on to the sales module let's move on to the sales module here you can see that the sales module contain different views such as the list view campaign view then calendar view uh, then we have the pivot view and graph view and activity view like upon clicking on different view we can just switch between each view and we are just navigating navigating into all those views right so likewise we also just need to define certain views for our custom module so upon clicking on those uh, views we just need to switch between the views okay so i'll be uh, defining the views over here so the field name is equal to let's say field name is equal to view mode okay so the value will be view mode over here now we just need to uh, define the view so while providing the views um, first we have to define the list view so in case of Odo 18, we know till Odo 17, there exists tree view. From Odo 18, the tree view is just replaced as list view and you can find the list tab from Odo 18. So whenever you define the view mode, first we have to define the list. If you're providing form view or any other view, you will be getting uh, some sorts of error or you won't be getting the complete result uh, as of the code. So first we have to define the list view, then you can provide any of the view over here. Let me provide it as form view, then uh, let me give the Kanban view and uh, here we have many more views such as pivot, uh, then graph and everything. Right now I am only giving these three view mode. Now once this is done, what we have to do is uh, we have to provide the help button. So if we don't have any record, we want to get an help like uh, which will be in HTML format and that will be showing a smiling face emoji to create the first record of our student. So we also just need to provide the other field name uh, with the value help. So let me say that field name is equal to help is the um, value and in this case we also just want to define the other uh, attribute that is type because it will be having the html type over here and let's close this so inside this we just need to define a paragraph tag that is a p tag so inside this p tag we just need to provide the class okay so i am going to define a class let's say a class is equal to here we just need to provide the class which is um yeah o hyphen view then uh, we just need to provide it as no content smiling face and if we don't have any uh, records over here we have to give the text as create your 
first student. Okay. And we have just done with everything. Now let me click on um, Control A, Control Alt L to do the proper indentation. And once everything is done, we can render the file. And let's move on to the uh, Odoo App Store in order to upgrade the module. So right now we just need to upgrade the module. And let's see whether the action is created. So if the action is created, we can view the action under the settings technical. Here we can find the actions. So if the action is created, you can search for college over here. And if the action is created, you can get that. But right now, the action is not created. This is because we haven't loaded the file into the manifest file. So whenever we create a new manifest file, ensure that you have linked the file with the manifest file and you just need to load everything into the database. Then only we will be getting the result. So here, in this case, uh, the file name is college student. So you can just choose control shift C and let's move on to the manifest file. And we just need to load this under the data. So let's separate this with a comma and uh, use the double quotes and provide the um, yeah path over here. So we only just need to get the path from, uh, uh, path from here. So let me right now load this. So let's see whether we will be getting the result or not. So you can again move to the apps and let me rent the file. So let's see, uh, we just need to load everything into the database, so upgrade that. And let's see whether it's created or not. So let's move on to the app, I mean, let's move on to the settings. And under the technical, we can find uh, the action. So let's move on to the action or window actions. And under the window action, you can search for college. So if the action is created, the action will be visible over here. So you can see the action name is college ERP. And as we have used the action type as a window action that will be linked over here. And you can also see the current, uh, the targeted window is a current window. And you can find the external ID that is automatically generated. That is the module name dot action. That is um, module name dot. Then the ID of the report will be uh, given over here. And you can find the object. So upon clicking on student, a college student, we just need to navigate into the other uh, window. So that is the object over here. And under the general settings, we have provided the view mode. So we have currently provided three view mode that is list view, form view and Kanban view which is listed over here. And as we haven't provided any other view reference or search reference, it won't be visible over here. And under the help, uh, if uh, there exists uh, no records, then we have to uh, give an help message like create your first student and that is also appeared over here. Okay. Right now we have only created the action and we don't know how the action works in Odoo. So in next video, we will be talking about how to link the action with the menu and we'll be showing how the action works in Odoo. So I hope this video clarifies how to create a window action in Odoo. And if you find this video informative, please do like, share and subscribe for more Odoo tutorial videos and feel free to contact Cyprocess for Odoo implementation and Odoo customization. So that's all for today. See you in the next one.